in this tutorial we will learn how to use fuzzy select tool in GIMP so the basic principle behind fuzzy select tool is that it selects the area of current layer or image based on color sim similarity so you can also increase or decrease the sensitivity towards the color by increasing or decreasing the threshold value and we will learn how to do that in a matter of few minutes so one thing which you have to remember is that whenever you are using fuzzy select tool always remember that you will be one thing which you should remember while using fuzzy select tool is that the image which you are selecting should have solid or nearly solid colored background if it is if it is not then it will create problems as in the proper area will not be selected you may try to increase or decrease the value of threshold but still there will be chances that the required area is not selected also the objects should be having sharp sides or edges so that it is easier for fuzzy select tool to select the required area so if in case you are having sort of blurry area then fuzzy select tool will have hard time in figuring out the area which is required for the selection so as you will advance in GIMP usage you will you will choose path tool or color select tool which are more efficient as compared to fuzzy select tool um, and this is the same thing which is mentioned by uh, mentioned in GIMP documentation so now let's get started and start using fuzzy select tool so we can see we have this magic wand or the fuzzy select tool so we can see we have multiple modes here we have this mode which is replace the current selection so in case you have selected some area then uh, you will be selecting the area which is of some definite re as required by you so it second option adds to your current selection which means that in case you have selected one portion or one object then you can also add another selection so there will be then two selections or you can have multiple selections so for each additional selection you have to choose this one so now you can just keep on adding more and more selections like we have selected one then again twice second one and then third one and then fourth one if you want to remove the selection so let's say we are we are having four selections right now if you want to deselect this one then you can just click on it or if you want to de deselect this one then you can click on it since we can see we have um, sharp edges in this hello also the background is uh, solid in nature so it is really easy uh, for fuzzy select tool to select the area now we can see we have two more objects first is this and second one is this so we can see it has blurry edges so when we're talking about blurry then there will be different colors in this per particular range so around the boundary there will be different colored pixels so now threshold will play its role so when we have minimal threshold then it will be very particular about the color of the pixel so all the selected region will be having more or less similar color and as you will increase the value of threshold it will select wide spectrum of colors so it won't be limited to one set of color but different colors which are similar so like dark red then lighter red then more lighter red like that so first of all we will have our threshold value let's say one so if you are selecting it so you have to choose mode one or else it won't get selected now we can see a thin or a small portion of this particular object is selected 
why is that because this particular portion contains this similar color while the rest of the object has various shades of red so so since it is not similar to the one which we have inside it the selected portion so it didn't select it so now we will increase the threshold value so let's say it's it's 50 now and now let's try to select it using the fuzzy select tool now we can see more wider area is selected so now we can see that it is it has selected larger area of the object so why is that because now it is less sensitive towards the set of color of red or shade of red and now it is accepting a wider range of different shades of red color so that is why we have increased the threshold value now we have changed the value of threshold to 100 and now we will select try to select the object now we can see that it has selected the outer boundary of the object so why is that why is it selecting black color it is because the boundary will have some pixels which will have a part of a part black and a part red now if you want to confirm it you can just zoom in into the image and you will be able to see the pixels so now we can see that the pixels in the outer boundary has the color red so we can see a slight red with the black so that is why it's uh, the fuzzy, fuzzy select tool selected the boundary because the boundary has a red color in them and since we increased the sensitivity towards the red color which is, which is to say that it is now selecting different shades of red color so it has selected them now if you if you will increase the threshold value to let's say 150 then what will happen so let's try to select it now we can see that a larger portion of the object will be selected and if you will zoom in into the image more pixels will will be selected so earlier the region must have been like uh, till here now it has been selected till here so more more wide range of red color is now selected in the object now if you want you can increase the value of threshold a bit more so let's see what happens when you do that now let's say it is 180 now try selecting it now it has selected multiple objects so why is that it is because now it has tried to find all the red objects within the image so since we are having these seven major objects which are having different shades of red so irrespective of what is the depth of the red color or intensity of red color it is selecting it so since we know that these five objects has some portion of red color in them so that is why file select tool has selected these five or seven objects so when you are using fuzzy select tool to select objects having certain color be sure about the sharpness of the object object sites which means that the if the objects are sharp or the edges are sharp then it will be easier for fuzzy select to select the object and also the background color should be solid or nearly solid or else it will be 
selecting some wrong re region or area so this is how we use fuzzy select tool in GIMP thank you for watching the tutorial please don't forget to click on the subscribe button for receiving more updates from being skilled